Hi dear students, welcome to our channel Maths with Panindra. In this video, the miscellaneous problems in sets I am discussing now. Let us have a discussion of the question here. In a survey of 60 people, it was found that 25 people read newspaper H, 26 read newspaper T, 26 read newspaper I. 9 read both H and I, 11 read both H and I, 8 read both T and I, 3 read all the 3 newspapers. Ok dear students, see here, 11 read both H and I, T and I 8, and H and I 9. Okay. H and T it is the students. 11 read H and T. H and T is 11. Here I am. This is H and T. Okay. Now we will enter into the question find the number of people who read at least one of the newspapers at least one of the newspaper means either h newspaper or t newspaper or i newspaper that means n of h union t union i we have to calculate before that the given information you have to write the students read sorry the pupil read the pupil who reads Hindi paper H paper newspaper H the pupil who reads H is N of H is equal to 25 see that Next, the pupil who reads T newspaper, N of T, that is equal to 26. Next, again 26, the, the pupil Who reads I newspaper is N of I is also equal to 26. Not only this information but also the pupil reads the pupil who reads both H and I is n of h intersection i is equal to 9. Similarly, the pupil who reads both h and t is n of h intersection t is equal to 11. The pupil who reads both t and i newspaper is n of t intersection i is equal to 8. Ok dear students, after that the pupil who read all the newspapers, the pupil who reads all three newspapers, H, T and I is n of 
h intersection t intersection i is equal to 3 remember sir they are asking the first question the number of people who read at least one of the newspapers the number of the number of people who reads at least one of the newspapers is at least means either one newspaper or two newspaper or three newspaper that means uh, n of h union t union i so how to write the, we know the formula n of a union b union c formula is there now so n of h union t union i equal to n of h plus n of t plus n of i minus n of h intersection t minus n of t intersection i minus n of h intersection i plus n of h intersection t intersection i so now substitute all these values what is n of h value n of h is uh, 25 and n of t and n of i 26 plus 26 Okay, dear students, next, uh, n of h intersection i, so that is 9, so minus 9, minus 11, minus 8, plus 3. So now, if you simplify, 25 plus 26 plus 26, 52, 52 plus 3, 55, minus 28, so which is equal to 80 minus 28 that is equal to 52 so this 52 number people are who reads at least one of the newspapers i am giving the conclusion here the first question answer i am giving conclusion 52 people read at least one of the newspapers okay dear students still here first question completed after that they are asking to find the second question the number of people who read exactly one newspaper exactly one newspaper how to read how exactly one newspaper to do this problem we need to take the help of venn diagrams See here, Venn diagram here, like this uh, square, you take it, one, so three circles, why, because in that So the third one is not uh, in the, so this is the way you take that, uh, you give the names for this, uh, dear students. So names also we will give it. So this is H, this circle is H. I hope it is not uh, finding correctly. Uh, I will take another color to make a mark now this is h this is i this is a t okay this part is the middle one whatever it is there here and taking this is a e, this is b this is c this one is d here a and D. We know that N of H intersection D clearly observed dear students. H intersection T not D. H intersection T. So the 
people who reads h and t newspapers according to the venn diagram a plus d am i right so h intersection t value we know that as 11 next n of t intersection i the people who reads both t and i newspapers c plus d that is equal to 8 next the number of people who reads h and i newspaper that is equal to b plus d which is equal to uh, h intersection i value is what h intersection i h intersection i value is 9 okay and also d is only d if i talk n of h intersection t intersection i that is equal to d that is equal to 3 no according to that all the newspapers those you are preparing here it is there i hope you understand yes students just uh, i make a mark with this now if you add all these three here adding all these three what will come a plus c plus b means a plus b plus c plus d plus d plus d means 3d equal to 28 will come dear students in the above equation d value 3 no since d value is 3 so a plus b plus c plus 3 into 3 is equal to 28 a plus b plus c equal to 28 minus 9 so a plus b plus c is equal to 19 this is what a plus b plus c is equal to 19 so the for this from the figure from the figure we want this shaded region this part we want so this part means what values we required we required they are asking to find the number of people who read exactly one newspaper what i am doing is the number of people the number of people who reads first two or three newspapers i am taking who reads two newspapers that is 19 students a plus b plus c means that only indication dear students if you add these three you know only two newspapers the number of uh, people the number of people who reads three newspapers equal to 3 therefore the number of people the number of people who reads two or three means is 19 plus 3 so 22 so these two 22 people who reads on two or three newspapers but they are asking only one newspaper no therefore the people the number of people the number of people who reads exactly one newspaper is 
so we got 52 this is either one paper or two paper or three paper now in that we can subtract into 22 two or three papers so one people will come now so 52 minus 22 that is equal to 30 these 30 people they are reading or exactly one newspaper out of these three h t and i newspapers they will read only 30 people read only one newspaper okay dear students i hope you understand thank you for your support